Ah, uh, the old classic wubbers, huh? Engine hour is excellent. Let's get into this bird. It's finally made aircraft. Alright, batteries are. We gotta, we gotta move our camera a little look around here. Oh, hey, the, um, Nimeth Sky Crane. Hey. I have that officially now, so that's gonna be another review coming up. That's oil dilution. No, batch right battery switches up here. And a fine airplane from A2A, folks. <laughs> Those are under cooler drawers, so. No hydraulic pressure yet, so you can't work with those. Alright, here's our P47 mixture 2. Uh oh. Oh, wonder the Huey wasn't stuck down the way I told it to. Alright. Let's look at this. Uh, I'm guessing. Seventy-five percent should be auto lean, auto rich. I mean, so we need auto rich. Put our fuel tank on the main tank. Controls are now officially unlocked. Three shots of primer. Three shots of primer. Bags on. Contact. Sorry, it's been a while since I've flown this. And it's all manual, so I don't usually fly this one. Landing light switch. Do I have a fuel pump? We can do. See, there's your oil, put our oxygen in, ADI fluid in. Let me look down here. Let me look down our panel here. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? This is the older, one of the older axis in airplanes.
really the first fighters that came out with Accusim because you know there's drop tanks and all that stuff. This is back when they first really came out with Accusim, really. I don't think our hydraulic pressure blunders in. Do we even have? I swear it's a tail here. Oh. Oh, that's right. Automatic flaps. Just to give the airbird some warbird some proper maneuvering. We're gonna dive down, pick up about 300 miles per hour, or about 200. Miles per hour. And can't go I'm thinking must have all the folks. All right, here's the front door. We're slowly put her no loop. Just like we did the Mustang, you gotta slowly put these warbirds in the loops. This isn't like an F-18 where you can just yank back on a stick and get that full loop immediately. There's your slow, gentle rolling loop. Slow, gentle, end of the loop. Pull back more as you get higher into the loop. Like I said, guys, there is a chance we can catch the engine on fire. That's, that's my friend. That's my friend. That's Steve. He'll, he'll, he'll realize I'm recording when he comes home. Oh, 
seven. She's an old warbird designed to do a job. It's actually a Tuskegee Airmen model that does have the correct uh, character model. You know, instead of them just slapping a generic. Uh, I'm not trying to sound racist here, but a white character in there, you know, just a generic pilot, not even caring about it's from the Tuskegee Airmen. They're not, and they're not their color. For what they'd be in the airplane, I'm, I'm trying to not sound racist, guys, but seriously. They just slapped the correct pilot in there. Instead of just slapping a generic, you know, the wrong pilot in there, I even take into consideration that the Tuskegee Airmen was the one, basically. Well, let's bring her in nice and easy.
she's a good airplane, I do recommend her. Let's check out our hangar. Excellent! See you guys later. Merry Christmas on my back.